Swaddle in helps recreate the womb-like environment and allows your baby to feel attached and secure. Babies are more inclined toward physical touch for comfort, so Swaddle in helps give them that tactile comfort all over their body. Swaddle in should not replace skin-to-skin -skin time, but can be a useful tool during those moments that parents are looking for ways to calm their baby. A good time to swaddle your baby is after they feed, when laying baby down to sleep, or when trying to calm your baby. Be sure to remove the swaddle when feeding your baby, as a baby in a swaddle can create a poor latch. So first you'll wanna choose a blanket that is safe for swaddling, and then you're gonna lay your blanket down on a firm surface in a diamond shape. The top of your diamond will point down with a straight line across the top. Next, you'll lay your baby on the top of the blanket with their neck in line with that straight line so we can easily fold the corners over their shoulder. First, you're gonna take one corner, fold over the shoulder, hold it in the center, and then take this corner and fold across their body. You can tuck this corner under your baby securely. The next step is to place your hand at the bottom of their feet and fold the blanket over top. We wanna to make sure that they have enough space at the bottom to be able to kick their feet out if necessary. You can fold this corner under to secure that edge. Lastly, we're gonna fold this corner down, hold it in the center of their body, and fold across. Tuck in that last corner underneath your baby. The swaddle should not be too tight or make it hard for your baby to breathe. Your baby should have enough room at the bottom of the swaddle to kick his or her feet straight and move their hips. Some helpful tips that may help you in your effort to swaddle your baby. Never leave a swaddled baby unattended. Make sure that your baby is always on their back when swaddled. One or both hands should be at baby's face to show hunger cues or suck for comfort. The blanket or cloth should be away from your baby's face and tightly tucked. Once your baby turns eight weeks old or looks like he or she is trying to roll over, you will want to stop swaddling and switch to a sleep sack. Your baby rolling onto their stomach in a swaddle can increase the risk for suffocation. You will have some time to practice swaddling at the hospital after your baby is born. Be sure to call staff for assistance with swaddling so you feel confident with the technique before going home. Thank you for watching this video on swaddling. Please visit lvhn.org slash raisinafamily for more information.